Hello everyone, this is Ahmed Dan of AhmedDan.com. Today I'll have another episode of unboxing and review video and I'll be opening a portable pocket radio Prunas J166. So lately I have been uh, getting interested in radio and uh, this is a piece of radio that I purchased after many many years. As a ma matter of fact, I even don't remember when I used a radio last time so it has to be uh, probably a few decades ago so all of a sudden you know I grew some interest in radio and I was just like you know doing reading some reviews and looking at some radios so this is a very inexpensive radio you cannot go wrong uh, it's on sale and I purchased with my own money so I spent about uh, $13 Canadian which is uh, totally uh, you know unbelievable price for a pocket radio so I'm going to see that you know whether this works and what kind of stations uh, we can uh, capture from uh, here in downtown Toronto. So this is uh, only 119 gram. It runs on two AA batteries. There's no way you can you know recharge or uh, you can put in or plug in an adapter. So you have to just you know keep buying or using batteries. And I couldn't find uh, how much the battery would last anywhere. So, but my guess would be that, you know, it would last a long time and it's a very uh, lightweight, only 119 gram without batteries. And in terms of uh, size, it's uh, 2.64 by 1.1 by 5.03 inches. So it's kind of even smaller than a cell phone. So it's a very, you know, small size. So if you are traveling, then it should be very like, you know, uh, negligible weight to carry with you. And uh, I'm hoping to travel with you and try the radio from different places uh, on Earth to see what kind of stations I can I can get. And uh, it has uh, AM, FM, and WB uh, frequency range band. So what it's that you know it can get uh, the weather stations NOAA and NOAA for the US and possibly weather radio uh, in Canada. And uh, what I'm going to do, let's open this up and take a look at it. And then once, you know, I use it a few days, then I'm going to, you know, come back and touch the second part of the review uh, with today's review. So let's start uh, with the unboxing. So we have some uh, specs right here. And uh, this is how the packaging looks. It's nothing fancy, nothing bad either. And the name is... Uh, I believe you spell it pro pronus prunus and j166 is the model number and here we have some specs again uh, so fm 87 to 108 megahertz and am 520 to 1710 and weather band 162 to 162.55 and you need to double the batteries and then yes you can use the earphone output and the speaker is supposed to be you know very uh, low volume or that's what i'm expecting so i'm going to see you know once i open it how the sound quality so let's start uh, with the unboxing so the box is empty right now and i'm going to just you know leave it here so this is what we get so there is even a manual uh, or brochure they touch, and it just tells you about the you know various uh, buttons and how they work. So I'm not going to go through now, uh, but I might go through it later on. So let's set this aside for now, and then we have the radio here. So the first thing I can tell you that this is extremely lightweight. It feels like you know you're holding almost nothing in your hand. And in terms of the quality, uh, it doesn't look too bad, you know. Yes, it is plastic, but still, like you know, it doesn't feel too cheap. So it just you know feels okay. And even here's a clip you can attach it to your belt or anywhere. And then here is the battery case. So which will insert some batteries and then uh, here you can see the bands so we have the FM, WB and the AM right here 
and here's a knob to tune and then you have the volume button and then you have the band selector which is right here and there's actually a telescopic antenna which is right here and there is the 3.5 audio jack output so you can use it with your headset or headphones so let me just try to unfold the antenna and as you can see it's quite a long antenna so it should be able to capture some uh, good stations and let me just put it this way so it doesn't look or feel bad at all and at this point I'm going to start you know trying the radio and then you know I'll come back to the second part of the review hello everyone this is the second part of the video so I have had a few weeks to try and test it out the Prunas J166 radio and I'm just going to go over a few things today so the first thing uh, it runs on two AA batteries which you can see uh, right here and I put this on about uh, three weeks ago and I'm listening a little bit every day and it looks like you know the battery life is uh, very good uh, there's no problem so far and then there's the telescopic antenna which is right here so if you extend it you can actually can stretch long and uh, now let's start with uh, the band so here's that off button right here and when you first uh, turn it on then the first band you get is the weather band and then here's the FM and then uh, here's the AM and this is the volume slider and this is the tuning slider uh, the tuning slider is slightly tight but uh, you know you have to put a little bit pressure but it's it, you know it has both uh, both good side and bad side and uh, let's try out a few uh, bands so I'm going to just turn on the weather band which is the first one and we have the volume here and on the weather band actually I only get two different bands one US and one Canadian so the Canadian one has very clear reception and uh, the US one seems to be coming from Buffalo and sometimes you know I get that and sometimes I don't so let me just try it out if I can get the U US one today so this is where usually I get this uh, but right now I see I'm not getting it anything so I'm just going to switch to the Canadian one. I thirteen UV index. Okay. X for high for tonight. So this is the Canadian one, and it's twenty four hour, and I couldn't figure out where it's coming from. Uh, like you know, if this is a central band for Canadian weather, which use the weather band. But you know, this has very good reception, so I'm getting this all the time. Then uh, let's go back to FM. So, FM, I get a lot of stations, and uh, you know, some of them come very clear. So, the only thing is that you have to tune manually. There's no uh, digital tuning, but I wouldn't worry about that too much because of the price. And then let's move on to the AM band. So this band selection can be a very little bit tight uh, because you know it's very tight and sometimes it's hard to select. Let's say you're trying to put in FM, but you're going to slide it to uh, weather band. So it's not that like you know. Uh, easy to maneuver but it's not a big deal uh, so when I chose M band I noticed that I get a lot of station in uh, Chinese and Indian languages and before I even didn't know that you know there are so many stations they are playing on FM band and on M band 
in uh, Indian and Chinese languages and other languages and then he just started playing so this is a French station. English. And lots of news channel. So right now, actually, I don't get that many FM. I'm sorry, AM bands in the daytime. But if you tune in at night, then you're gonna. You're gonna get a lot more M uh, bands at night than during the day. So this looks like this is another Indian channel. So at night you're gonna actually get uh, many more Chinese and Indian channel. So that's something I was really surprised. Okay, so let me just turn this off right here. Okay, so I turn it off and here we have uh, our radio and the build quality, it actually not, it's not too bad, you know, it doesn't feel like, you know, it's a only so inexpensive radio and I'm surprised with, you know, everything overall. So when I purchased this radio, uh, the cost was about like, you know, $12 Canadian. I didn't expect anything and even I was thinking maybe I'm, I was not going to get any uh, stations or anything because it's so you know inexpensive but I was surprised at the audio quality and I was surprised at uh, you know what I'm getting so definitely I cannot complain about anything based on you know the cost and uh, what you get so another thing is that this is really lightweight and portable so you can take it anywhere when you're traveling the only uh, Thing you have to keep in mind that you know everything is manual so you cannot uh, tune in or anything digitally and there's no memory no nothing but the ba battery uh, is very low uh, it doesn't take that much battery and because I put this uh, like in a few weeks ago and it's still there running so I don't think that you know that's going to be an issue even if you're uh, listening to longer hours so overall I'm uh, happy with the product and uh, again this is not a paid or affiliated review and all my reviews are non-affiliated unbiased and honest so thank you for watching this video uh, there's another radio review coming up uh, I purchased another radio which I'm going to be you know uh, putting uh, shortly and uh, this is my first radio I haven't had a radio for many uh, decades and uh, this is something I'm you know getting into uh, recently and definitely I plan to you know do more uh, reviews and videos and radios in the future so thank you for watching, there will be more videos coming up, so I'll see you shortly, thank you.